Hello everyone. So in this video, I am going to discuss about Cauchy's residue theorem. Statement is, if f of z is analytic at all points inside and on a simple closed curve C, except at a finite number of poles z1, z2, etc, zn within C, then integral over C, f of z dz equal to 2 pi i into sum of the residues of f of z at uh, the pole c z1 z2 etc zn this is the statement of cauchy's residue theorem so we are going to see the problems under this category the first one evaluate integral over c 2 z minus 1 by z into z plus 1 into z minus 3 into d z where c is the circle modulus of z equal to we are given the closed curve C is mod z equal to 2. First, we need to draw that circle. So, mod z equal to 2 means center obviously 0 and radius all the sides is 2. So, first we are going to find the poles of given f of z. The denominator, the first term z, second term z plus 1, third term z minus 3. So, at z, uh, the first term pole is z equal to 0. The second term pole is z equal to minus 1. The third term pole is z equal to 3. Because while I am replacing z equal to 0, it makes the whole denominator 0. In the second term, when I am replacing z equal to minus 1, I will get the whole denominator into 0. In the third term, 3 minus 3 becomes 0. So, therefore, the total denominator 0. The f of x function becomes infinite. So, these are all the poles of each and every term of f of z in the denominator. Order. All the term order must be power is 1. So, therefore, power is the order. Order of all the poles are 1. So, next we are going to check whether the po these poles are lies inside the given circle or outside. So, z equal to 0 means that points comes inside the circle obviously origin origin is inside the circle z equal to minus 1 means of course all the sides radius of the given circle is 2 z equal to minus 1 lies inside z equal to 3 obviously z equal to 3 lies outside because uh, the region up to 2 only so z equal to 3 is lies outside so therefore automatically we may take residue of this uh, third category is 0. Suppose any one of the pole point lies outside means we can tell directly the residue of that particular pole is 0. So, therefore, we need to find out residue of at z equal to 0 and z equal to minus 1 alone. Now, residue of f of z at the point z equal to 0. Here, all the poles containing order is 1. So, now, I am using the simple pole formula limit z tends to a, a is equal to 0, z minus a into f of z, a is equal to 0 here also. So, z into f of z is given function to z minus 1 by z into z plus 1, z minus 3. z, z getting cancelled. In the remaining term, I am going to replace z equal to 0. I will get 2 into 0 minus 1, 0 plus 1, 0 minus 3. 1 into minus 3 is minus 3. Therefore, residue of f of z at the pole point z equal to 0 is 1 by 3. So, let us move on to the next z equal to minus 1 here also order 1. So, now residue of f of z at z equal to minus 1 limit z tends to minus 1 z minus of minus 1 that become z plus 1 into f of z f of z is given function. Here also z plus 1 z plus 1 getting cancelled. I am going to substitute z equal to minus 1 into the remaining term. I will get 2 into minus 1 minus 2, minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 in the numerator. The denominator minus 1 into minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4. So, minus 1 into minus 4 is 4. Totally, I am getting the residue value of f of z at the point z equal to minus 1 is minus 3 by 4. Of course, residue of f of z uh, at the point z equal to 3 is uh, 0 because that particular point is lies outside the given region modulus of z equal to now, by Cauchy's residue theorem, integral over C, f of z into d is equal to 2 pi i into sum of the residues. Here, f of z is 2 z minus 1 by z into z plus 1 z minus 3 into d z, which is equal to 2 pi i into sum of the residues. So, the first residue value is 
1 by 3 the second residue value is minus 3 by 4 the third residue value is 0 I am writing all those values here after simplifying this I will get the final answer for this closed interval c is equal to minus pi phi pi i by 6 minus phi times of pi i by 6 this is our final answer let us move on to the second problem evaluate integral over c z square minus 2 e z by z plus 1 the whole square into z square plus 4 into d z where c is the circle mod z equal to 3 using residue theorem first i am going to draw the sketch of modulus of z equal to 3 all the sides radius is 3 and center is 0 now i am finding the uh, poles of the given f of z before that i am expanding this z square plus 2 plus 4 into z plus 2i into z minus 2i of course a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square i will get back this z square plus 4 okay now so pole of the first term z plus 1 the whole square is z minus 1 because uh, when I am replacing z plus uh, minus 1, I will get the total value 0. So, that is the pole. So, z equal to minus 1. Here, the order is 2. So, of course, it lies. z equal to minus 1 obviously lies inside the circle modulus of z equal to 3. And z equal to 2, I means in, in, on the y axis, positive, positive side. So, therefore, um, z equal to 2i is also lies inside but order is 1 and z equal to 2i negative side y axis value this is also lies inside mod z equal to 3 now we need to find out residue of all the three poles so in here order of the first pole z equal to minus 1 is 2 so we need to use the formula 1 by n minus 1 factorial n is equal to 2 so 1 minus 1 factorial 2 minus 1 factorial is 1 factorial that value is equal to 1 d power uh, 2 minus 1 by d z power 2 minus 1 that become 1 d power 1 by d z power 1 by z minus a a is equal to minus 1 power m m is order 2 into f of z f of z is given function so here z plus 1 the whole square z plus 1 the whole square getting cancelled so after that we need to differentiate the remaining term with respect to z because we are having d by d z both the numerator and denominator containing z we need to use the quotient formula so u by v formula you just keep z square plus 4 differentiate z square minus 2 z you will get 2 z minus 2 minus of you just keep z square minus 2 z and differentiate z square plus 4 you will get 2 z divided by z square plus 4 the whole square now i am substituting the point z equal to minus 1 here so minus 1 the whole square is 1 1 plus 4 is 5 so here minus 1 into 2 is minus 2 minus 2 into minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4 minus 4 into 5 is equal to minus 20 here minus 1 the whole square is plus 1 minus 2 into minus 1 is plus 2 1 plus 2 is 3 here 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 uh, 3 into minus 2 is equal to minus 6 minus into minus is positive so therefore we will get plus 6 the denominator minus 1 the whole square become 1 1 plus 4 is equal to 5 5 square is equal to 25 so after simplifying this minus 20 plus 6 is equal to minus 14 by 25 so this is the first residue of the pole is it equal to minus 1 so next thing is the second uh, pole is is it equal to 2i here the order is 1 so therefore we need to use the simple pole formula limit is it tends to 2i is it minus 2i into f of is it in z square plus 4 i am expanding is it plus 2i into is it minus 2i is it minus 2i is it minus 2i getting cancelled I am substituting z tends to 2i in the remaining terms. I so, will get 2i the whole square minus 2 into 2i by 2i plus 1 the whole square into 2i plus 2i is 4, 4i. Here I am getting 2i the whole square is i square value minus 1. So therefore minus 4 minus 4i by 4i times of 2i plus 1 the whole square. So now I will get uh, uh, the numerator 4 is common. So, denominator 
ஃபோர் அண்ட் நியூமரேட்டர் ஃபோர் இஸ் கெட்டிங் கேன்சல் ஐ வில் கெட் இந்த நியூமரேட்டர் ரிமைனிங் மைனஸ் ஒன் மைனஸ் ஐ பை ஐ இன்ட்டு டூ ஐ ப்ளஸ் ஒன் தி ஹோல் ஸ்கொயர் ஐ ஆம் டேக்கிங் மல்டிப்ளிகேஷன் மல்டிப்ளை அண்ட் டிவைடட் பை ஐ போத் நியூமரேட்டர் அண்ட் டிவை டினாமினேட்டர் ஐ வில் கெட் லைக் திஸ் ஸோ நெக்ஸ்ட் இட் மே பி சே திஸ் இஸ் நோ நீட் ஆக்சுவலி யூ ஜஸ்ட் லெஃப்ட் இட் ஹியர் இட் செல்ஃப் அதர்வைஸ் வி மே கோ ஃபார் திஸ் ஆல்சோ வைல் ஐ மல்டிப்ளைங் ஐ இன் த நியூமரேட்டர் it will gives minus i minus i square in the denominator i am having i into i i square no i square values minus 1 so therefore i uh, i cancel the minus in the numerator it will get i minus 1 it will become i minus 1 so this is the answer for z equal to 2i let us move on to the z equal to minus 2i so here also we need to use the simple four formula limit z tends to minus 2i is that minus of 2 is that minus of minus 2i that become positive into f of z f of z is here but in the place of z square plus 4 i am expanding z plus 2i into z minus 2i okay so now these two terms are getting cancel z plus 2i z plus 2i the remaining terms are here now i am replacing z tends to minus 2i the answer is minus 4 plus 4i by minus 4i into minus 2i plus 1 the whole square so both numerator and denominator 4 uh, getting cancel the remaining terms are here minus 1 plus i by minus i into 1 minus 2i the whole square for cancelling the denominator i otherwise 1 by i is equal to 1 by i is equal to minus i so i may multiplying numerator with minus i uh, denominator i am having minus i no otherwise minus of 1 by i is equal to i so minus of 1 by i become i so therefore i into minus 1 plus i by 1 minus 2i the whole square so this is uh, our third uh, residue value now i am using cauchy's residue theorem formula integral over c f of z is equal to 2 pi i into sum of the residues first residue value minus 14 by 25 plus second residue value i minus 1 by 2i plus 1 the whole square the third residue value is minus of i plus 1 by 1 minus 2i the whole square therefore they are asking to find out integral over c f of z d z means we may use the cauchy's residue theorem it will give the answer in the simple manner thank you